Hey, what's going on guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video where today, the most exciting event in HUT has begun. HUT Evolution. Now I'm going to do my absolute best to explain everything in this video for you right now. I'm going to do my very best. But if you have any questions or if I missed something, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what I missed. What do you guys want to know about? We can talk. We can chat. I can do my absolute best to explain everything. And we're gonna start it off with what are the evolution cards. Now, if you are new to HUT or you haven't played for a while, these are similar to the Movember cards back in the day. Now, HUT evolution, they're very exciting cards. They upgrade every time a certain player gets an upgrade. And we'll use Evgeny Kuznetsov as an example here. He's 84 overall in HUT right now. So his base gold card is 84, and right now his evolution card is 84. Now, if at any point he receives a prime time, a milestone, or a team of the week item, that card will be 86 overall and his evolution card will become 86 overall. And this will keep happening until he maxes out. So he can get as many upgrades as he wants. He can get that team of the year 99 overall, and this Evo card will also become 99 overall. Now there are 35 different evolution players available right now. Right now there's 35 available, and this event is running for two weeks from October 3rd to the 19th. That's all I know. That's all I know about how long it's running for and how many players are available. Now guys, who's going to be available? How do you get these cards? Well, first off, impacts right now are a John Tavares, a Sean Couturier, a Tyson Berry, a Clayton Keller, and a Charles Houdon. Right now, they are in packs. Nice and simple. Open up the uh, Evolution theme packs, and you can pull one of these guys. Nice and simple. However, you can also pull some really interesting Evolution collectibles. Now those are going to be very important and you can see there hut challenges a total of 13 daily challenges will be available You can get some really good rewards including Evolution collectibles now you're not guaranteed them every day I'm not you definitely are not guaranteed them every day I'm not gonna say you are so just be aware But if you do them every day you have a chance of getting your evolution collectibles and they're very very valuable now Competitive seasons and this is the last thing I'm going to talk about before revealing the rest of your evos and round one, cool. Round two, great. Top 100 during the event will receive a tier one evolution choice pack. Now, what is a tier one evolution choice pack? What the hell is that? Well, this year in evolutions and in hut, we have different tiers. Tier number five. If you trade in two evolution collectibles, you get to choose from four of these players. Casey Middlestat, Jared McCann, Robbie Fabry, Jack Roslovic, I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry. Sonny Milano and Samuel Girard. You trade in two collectibles and you get one of those players. You get to choose from four of them. Awesome, right? You get one of four. Cool. Moving on. Tier number four. You trade in four collectibles and you have a choice between Darnell Nurse, Kyle Connor, Nolan Patrick, Thomas Shabbat, Andre Kasha, and Rasmus Dolan. Now, Dolan's going to be a very expensive card. We all know he's, you know, supposed to be the next great, supposed to win the Calder. If he gets a lot of upgrades, this card's going to be very, very valuable. Moving on. Tier number three, six Evolution Collectibles. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Mikhail Sergachev, Charlie McAvoy, Ilya Kovalchuk, Dylan Larkin, and Nico Hishier. You can see the cards are starting to get a little bit better here. Tier two, Shane Goss's Bear, William Carlson, Matthew Barzel, Jack Eichel, Miko Rantanen, and Connor Hellebuck. All these players cost eight evolution collectibles. You have to choose from one of four. So you're not even guaranteed to see all these cards in a choice pack. You're guaranteed to see four of them. You have to choose from those four. And it's gonna take a lot. And last but not least, tier one. 10 evolution collectibles. And you have a choice of one of four of Nathan McKinnon, Taylor Hall, PK Subban, Artemi Panarin, David Posternock, and Yevgeny Kuznetsov. Now you're sitting there, and you're wondering, where's Crosby, where's Obi, where's Stamkos, where's McDavid? They could possibly come in later events. They might not have them at all. Now I can't guarantee that. I haven't heard anything, being completely honest. I don't know. But they're not in this event. The best ones you can get are McKinnon, Hall, Subban, then Panarin, Pasternak, and Kuznetsov. Those are your top players right now to get in High Evolution. Now some very important thing I need to bring up. It's very important. If a player in HUT receives, say, a flashback or something like that, that type of card, the EVO will not upgrade with it. Hypothetically, Henrik Zetterberg, he's going to get a 90 overall card. Now, he's not going to have an EVO, but if he did, that EVO is not going to upgrade to a 90. I'm just letting you know, I'm making sure you're aware, 
that there are going to be some cards that get different things. So the only ones that you can get the upgrade on for your Evo are going to be your Team of the Week, your Prime Time, and your Milestone. That's it right now. Don't think that if somebody hypothetically gets a card in competitive seasons or something, that he's going to go up. He's not. You need to be aware of that. Okay? One more thing. What's the highest overall that my Evolution player can be upgraded to? It can match their highest performance-based inform item, which could be Team of the Year, at 99 overall, which is absolutely massive. A 99 overall, any of these cards would be wicked, but the fact that you don't even need to pull the Team of the Year to get it, you can have the Evolution card, it's absolutely awesome. Now, there are potentially going to be more events like this. Now, there's a lot of players missing, and a lot of players that people are gonna want. Like I said, Crosby, Obi, Stamkos, McDavid, they may or may not get cards. I do not know. I have not heard a thing about this. But right now, from October 3rd to October 19th, this is what we got. This is the only HUD event that I know about for HUD Evolutions. This is all I know right now. So don't don't spam me with questions and messages. I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I knew more. I wish I could say more. I physically don't know. But like I said, there's 35 players available, and this is running for two weeks. This is your best chance to get some of these players. Do the sets. Guys, hang on to as many collectibles as you can and just keep doing sets. Get them all. These are going to be tradable cards, so get them out there. Anyways, guys, I think I've done my best here. I think I've explained everything. So let me know down below if there's anything that you're really missing. Let me know down below if there's something that I need to explain a little bit better. I, I think I explained it pretty well. Evo cards will upgrade throughout the year. You can get them in packs and you can get them doing sets. Nice and simple. Some really good cards are going to be available, guys, and I know I'm going to be ripping some packs a little bit later tonight, so be sure on the lookout for that. But it is going to do it for the video, so thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm out of here. I'm done. In fact, I'm probably going to start ripping some packs right now because I want to get my hands on that John Tavares. I got to get some of these collectibles. I really need to get my hands on that Sergachev. You guys know I'm a big fan of Sergachev, and I mean, I guess the McKinnon or the Hall might be pretty nice as well. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm out. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. See ya.